when you find something as beautiful as this bar stool at home goods purchase it hi and welcome to all things styled by pam okay first of all i wanted to give you an update on my dining room what i'm going to do is i'm going to include a picture of the new chairs which i forgot to do in my last video as well as the new lighting fixture that i have coming in i think wednesday and the chairs are coming in on the 23rd let me tell you it is i'm so impatient i just wish the chairs would come a little bit sooner so what i'm going to do is i'm going to do whichever comes in first just to give you an update or to see how the dining room is coming together and the changes that i'm making first let me say i have uh, i have loved this lighting fixture i really have but it is a little too farmhousey for me as well as the chairs it's kind of making it look and it could just be me I want it to look a little bit more modern. So the new lighting fixture, it has black and gold in it. So I'm going to, and it's, it is, I think it's beautiful. You tell me what you think when you do see it. I'm trying to film this during the day so that way you can see everything a little bit better because normally I've been filming a lot at night. <laughs> but the new dining room chairs, what I'm liking about that them is the fact that they will have a lower back profile to them where the back of the chair won't be as high i want to see more of the table especially like if i'm standing in the kitchen or if i'm talking to someone i notice that when someone sits here they're sitting kind of low another thing is as i stated in my last video i don't know how i do it or how i did it but I have entirely too much brown in here and I need to tone it down some. So that is the reason why um, I wanted to get the, uh, the new chairs. I'm still going to keep these, but I'm just going to take them out. Now, the curtains, I just spent three days trying to change out my curtains to go with the new dining room chairs and the new lighting fixture. But here's the thing. I really won't know what the, now I think the curtains will go perfectly with the new lighting fixture, but not sure about the chairs because the chairs will have, they will be gray with a little blue undertone to them, maybe. So once I get them in, then I can determine whether or not I want to keep these uh, curtains that I have up. The, the curtains are gray. They kind of look silver, but they're not. They're gray. I wanted to put a lighter color up here so that way I can bring in more lighting um, into my dining room. Now, here's the thing I want to ask you guys. See, this is the thing. I'm really thinking about painting my door black. But my husband said it may make it too dark in here. So I'm going back and forth on whether or not I want to paint the door black or not. I'm still unsure about that. But this is what I wanted to talk about, okay? And y'all know me. I'm going to keep it real on my channel. Yes, I have a cup and a measuring cup in my sink. <laughs> that is because I've been using this... Uh, Black & Decker uh, steamer for a while now. And I mean, I have been using it. My only thing is, is that I basically use it to steam my curtains. And this is the water, uh, where you put the water at, water container. And my only thing is that it'll give me a good, mm, maybe 10 minutes on steaming my curtains, then I have to refill it. Hence the measuring cup. That's what I use it for to pour the water into this. And this just slides out and I don't think I'm gonna be able, oh yeah, I did. See, this is where the water goes in here. And I'm not sure if you can, you, know, you can see it right there, the water. So it fills up to here, but the only thing is it's heavy, okay? That is the second thing I should have said is heavy. 
but look how perfect it seems my curtains. Let me tell you, <laughs> even though it's heavy, I just prepare myself that I've got to stand on the ladder and I got to hold it to steam my curtains. My curtains look absolutely beautiful. And I learned from my friend Sin not to put a crease in them because I was putting a crease in them because she was like, why do they look so stiff? <laughs> because I was steaming the mess out these curtains. So I learned not to do that and just get, I, I, it looks way better than what I was doing. So again, I will give you another update as to which comes in first, the lighting fixture or the chairs, which I think is the lighting fixture. And once I get the chairs, then I will um, come back again and then whether you'll see whether or not I kept the curtains or not, <laughs> or if I had to change them out. But yeah, let me show you, uh, what other, uh, the other curtains that I've seen with the steam. Okay, I am in my office and look how well that steamer works on these curtains. Oh my goodness. This is what I've been looking for for the longest. I want my curtains to look like they belong in a hotel. That is the reason why I'm really loving that steamer and I've kept it. I have not changed it out. Even though, like I said, it is heavy, but it gets the job done, okay? It really does. Now, let me show you. This is something new that I picked up from Ashley's Furniture as well. And as you can see, the wall got hit. <laughs> Not from them, from me. So I got to repaint my wall. Look at this chair. It is a swivel chair. Okay, not sure about that pillow that's in the chair, but when I say this chair is comfortable, this chair is comfortable. My husband needed some place to sit, okay? Because when my husband comes in my office, let me tell you, I know I got a sofa in here and I know it's meant to sit on. Yes, sit on. My husband be laying on this sofa like it's a bed, okay? <laughs> I needed to get him a chair in here for him to be able to sit in because let me tell you, even though I got the pillows that I got on purpose, that can be flattened, whatever, and puffed back up. When I say when he leaves out of here, them pillows be flat, but I went ahead and got this chair from Ashley's Furniture. I wanted something cream in here. But I really do, I really do like the color of this chair. Now, the wall color, mm, we're not even going to go there. I like it, but I'm thinking I may have to change the color again. But that's what paint is for. Um, it's, it's meant to give you the look that you want. Now, do I want to paint this office again? No, but if I have to, I will. But let me tell you. I have plenty enough space for this chair, okay? It may not look like it on camera, but I promise you, I have enough space in this office for this chair. Even though this sofa is probably about seven, maybe six feet long, I have more than enough room for this chair, okay? I'm just saying because... It, it may look crowded, but it's not. Okay, I am in my closet slash beauty room. Now, this is a mirror that I got on the IKEA website, okay? I didn't clean my desk off, so please excuse my makeup desk, and I do apologize about that. But, hey, <laughs> this mirror... I, if I can find the picture of it or the name of it, I'm going to include it. I'm going to look for it to see if I can find it. But let me tell you, it's big, okay? And I love it. This is what I love about the mirror. If I want to close it, 
I can just close it like that. And to open it up, you just pull it like that. I can either look this way, this way, or this way. Or if I'm looking this way, I can still see something on this side or this side. The reason why I got pillows in my chair is because my dog will jump up on my desk and she will chew every liner, lip liner, eyeliner that I have. And I had to wind up putting them back here just to keep her from chewing up or being able to get up on this chair to chew up my makeup, okay? I learned once. But yeah, I wanted to show you this mirror that I picked up from, well, I, I ordered it from the Ikea website. And let me tell you, I'm loving this and I have more than enough room to put my makeup down or anything down. Majority of the time I have to slide it toward me um, just to, because it's not magnified, you know, like some mirrors are, but that is okay. Let me tell you, I think this mirror was like maybe $40, $59, maybe, I don't know. I'm going to have to look and I'll include the picture. But when I say it was worth it, it was worth it. I'm loving this mirror. And as I'm, while I'm down here, let me go ahead and show you the curtains that I steamed with my steamer, that Black & Decker steamer. Look at those curtains. I wanted a little bit of color in here because my walls are a tan color and they may have a pink undertone to them. And that's the reason you hear with her toy. <laughs> uh, oh my God. So yeah, the, the, I wanted to show you these curtains that I... Um, that I steamed with my steamer and I wanted to uh, put in a little bit of color and remember those um, pompous grass that I bought from Pottery Bond? I put them right here as well. You can tell I do a lot of DIYs. Look at the tape. <gasps> oh no. <laughs> Look at the look at the tape I got sitting up there. But yeah, so that is where I put. If you have, was ever wondering what I did with the pompous grass, this is where I put them. I would show her, but homegirl needs a haircut. So I'm still considering whether I'm going to use the satin iron ore paint or if I'm just going to keep it white. But I really think that the black, the door painted black would really set off the curtains and would really set off uh, the chairs that I got coming in. No, I'm not painting my door to suit the chairs, but I'm thinking adding a little bit of black in here, even though the TV is right there and the lamps right here are gold with the black. I, I, I'll see. And if I do do it, you will see it. And if I don't like it, I'm going to let you know when I bring in the, uh, the chandelier. So basically, it's depending on the chandelier. So I'm still not sure. Mm, I don't know. Or either I may paint the counter underneath the countertop in black. I don't know. I'm going to see. But yeah. That are that is the update that I wanted to give on, on my dining room table and the review of the the Black and Decker steamer as well as a few things that I also picked up in the chair from Ashley's Furniture. So as I always say, always remember to put that diamond touch on anything that you decide to do. And if you want to join me on my Instagram, join me at Pam. Uh, no, join me at Diamond2872. I forgot my name. Diamond2872 on Instagram. And I will talk to you guys in another video.